how to create a C wave effect in Affinity Photo. Create a circle, go to the ellipse tool in the tools panel and then just drag. Now I'm going to set that to a light blue, just change it there in the colors, the fill. However, layers panel, I'm going to add a mask. I want it to have some transparency. So go over here and just down the bottom with that selected, click here, mask layer. And now it's got a mask and I can change it using the gradient tool. Just simply drag and the default will be this, this effect. If you change it, of course, you change the gradient, you'll get a different result. And you can vary it, make it make about there, about the half. Hold down the shift if you want it straight down like that. However, what you can also do is you can add another one. So I'm just going to select that one and you can go to layer and duplicate or just drag and hold down the ultra option key. And then you can move it to that side or you can have it just below. Doesn't matter. I'm going to change the color though. Don't want that blue. I want this time a slightly darker blue. Just slightly, but you could also have three or four of these. You don't have to have just two. Maybe you could have a white or other colors, turquoise, etc. Sort of colors of the sea. So you've got this design. However, I want to merge them all into one layer. And it needs to be a pixel layer. So just go to layer and merge visible. So they all merge now and you've got this effect. I'm going to remove these. I don't need these anymore. So just delete them in the layers panel. Now I'm going to duplicate these. Just want to go across. However, I want to do it special one. I don't just want to just duplicate. I want duplicate linked. Duplicate linked. And I'm just going to drag there. Now you can click it like that. Or you can have it overlapping. Up to you. Again, layer and duplicate linked. Now you can, of course, create... 20 or 30, I've just got three. You could create, of course, a long row of these, maybe slightly smaller, and you can select them all. So they're all selected there. And then you can go up here again, the layer, and this time, duplicate link will duplicate all of them, and they will all still be duplicate link. It means any changes to one will be changed in all the others. Duplicate link. However, in this one, I'm gonna make it slightly offset. So it's offset like that. So it's just shifted along by half. And I can do the same again, layer. And if you make a mistake and you go with duplicate, you can always undo. Because I often do that. I do duplicate by accident, but I want duplicate linked. And again, just drag it to halfway so that it matches the top one there. So you've got your layer. And obviously, like I say, you could make infinitely more complex five, 10, 15 layers of these. And what you can now do is select one and any change to that will reflect in all the others. However, if you do a sort of scaling or whatever, or rotation, that isn't reflected. You can change it, but it's applying effects, such as the filter. And the reason I turned it into a pixel, you can't do it as a shape. It loses the connection. So, so go down here and distort. So filters and distort and deform. And just add some handles. And you can handle, add them to this one or any of the others. Doesn't matter. It's just to this one though. But any change here, and you can see straight away what happens. Now I'm going to quickly, uh, let's just change this the zoom so you can see it a little bit better. Plus I can't see it because it's just cut off a bit. But you can just manipulate it. You can turn around, oh, just move that across there. You can move that one. And you can tweak it. And sometimes it won't look like a waves. But in this case, I think it's starting to look like waves. And you can just make that, just drag that one up and drag this one down. And you can vary it. And enough like an animation, you can make it look like a sea wave. Unfortunately, there's no screen capture feature, time lapse feature in Affinity. I would love to see that. But you can just add some additional handles if you want. But you've got this design now. And I'm just going to go with that and click apply and you can see your C waves and of course you can literally create thousands of variants you can select that one again again go to filter distort and deform and modify add some more handles 
and just distort it again, just slightly, just tweak it. Maybe drag that in. You could have droplets coming off it, like the sea, sort of droplets from the water. So it's dragging that out. So you can make it really, really intense or very calm. And I think that's a lovely, quick C wave design, very quickly created, which can be modified in thousands of different ways. And that's in Infinity Photo. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.